Hello and welcome to Adobe Photoshop CS2 where today we're going to be exploring the swatches palette and finding out just how useful it can be. OK, let's set the scene. Say I'm creating a DVD menu right here in Photoshop that I'm later going to be exporting into Adobe Encore in order to build the DVD structure. And in order to make the DVD look professional, I want to use the colours in this title right the way through the whole project. So what we need to do here is to have some kind of record somewhere as to what colour I'm actually using to create my text. Now because I've just created this text, the colour is still set as my foreground colour. So if I click the foreground colour icon, I'm going to bring up Adobe's colour picker and from here we get to see all the information relating to that particular colour in the four different colour modes displayed. Those being HSB, RGB, Lab and CMYK. Now if I did want to make a written record of the colour, say for instance I wanted to send it to a client for approval, I could write down the RGB values because I'm working in an RGB colour space so that would be best. Or another way of doing it would be to make a record of this hexadecimal code down here which will lead us back to the exact colour match. The hexadecimal value, by the way, is mostly used for HTML coding inside of web pages. Now I'm going to hit the Council button and open up my Swatches palette. And if the Swatches palette isn't displayed on your screen already, then you can go to the Windows menu and click Swatches. And I'm going to bring it over onto the screen and open it up a little bit so we can see what's going on. Now what we have here basically is a list of colour libraries incorporating your own favourites. So if we go up to this arrow here and click it, we can open up a wing menu. And what I want you to do is to click on the Reset Swatches menu option. So we're both working on the same default Swatches library space. And if you get a message asking if you want to save the previous library, then just click Yes, there's no problems there. Now if you hover your mouse above the original swatches, your mouse icon will turn into an eyedropper and the name of the swatch will pop up. Now if you hover your mouse above an empty part of the palette, your mouse will transform into a bucket and that's inviting you to create a new swatch. Your new swatch will of course be your foreground colour. So I'm going to click inside here and I'm presented with a small dialog box asking me to name the swatch I'm currently saving. And I'm just going to go ahead and call it Title 1 and click OK. And you can see that we've now saved our colour into the swatches palette where it's going to remain forever or until we replace or delete it manually at least. And if I ever wanted to rename that swatch I can simply double left click on it and follow the instructions in the dialog box but I don't need to do that so I'm going to cancel out of it. So we've now got our colour saved in our swatches palette but how do we go ahead and actually reload it into our foreground or background colours? Well it's real simple I'm going to go ahead and default these back to the original colours um, and all I'm going to do is left click on the swatch to load it up as a foreground colour. Or I could have controlled left clicked on it to load it up as a background colour. And if we decide we don't like it anymore we can hold down the Alt until we see a little pair of scissors and then left click to delete it. We also have a create and delete swatch button down here at the bottom of the palette. Now finally if we click over here on the wing menu again we're greeted by a huge list of options that you saw a minute ago and as you can see we've got options here to change the sizes of thumbnails and lists inside of the palette we've got options to reset, load, save and replace swatches and libraries and then we've got a very generous list of colour libraries here um, and you can find libraries like Pantone used for printing mainly in America we've got libraries of uh, Focal Tone used for printing mainly over here in the UK and we've also got libraries for creating web graphics on both the Mac and PC and so on and so forth. 
So hopefully that's given you a better insight into saving and reusing colours using the swatches palette inside of Adobe Photoshop. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks very much for watching.